Hi friends, welcome to my channel for the total healing of your body, mind and soul. Now I'm going to tell you about serum hepatitis. Its causes, symptoms and treatment. First about its causes. It generally occurs in drug addicts because the infection is transmitted by blood or blood products that contaminate injection needles. This is the reason why disposable syringes and needles are recommended to be used when an injection is intended to be given. There is hardly any chance of infection when disposable syringes are destroyed after being used once only. In some places, these used syringes are not destroyed and thus used for other patients. This is unethical and condemnable. So, when you are to be injected, always carry your own syringe and needle and destroy the same after taking the injection. Treatment depends on the type of infection. And now about the symptoms of serum hepatitis. The symptoms include headache, fever, chills, jaundice and general weakness. The disease can be identified by detection of Australian antigen in their blood. And last about the treatment for serum hepatitis. It will depend upon the kind of infection imbibed and presence of symptoms in some cases, infections are so serious as to cause death even though only 5 to 20 percent patients die due to such an infection. Young infants, pregnant ladies, drug addicts, persons with weak constitution are more likely to be infected easily. Though no person or sex is immune to it, hence precaution is the only way to stay free of such blood transmitted infection. Friends, with this, I'm sure you gain some new knowledge about an infection and uh, to tell you frankly when I was small uh, I had seen one doctor who had come at home to visit or to treat my dad and you know the doctor had carried his own syringe that was already used he just reopened the already opened peel of the syringe, used it for my dad even without even putting it in water or anything again just to show that he has opened a new thing. But I had seen that he had used a used syringe which was already used for somebody else. So it was very risky because if that person for whom it was used before had any infection my dad could easily get it but this doctor maybe he wanted to save money for the syringe and that is why he was doing like that so the best thing is you carry your own syringe for any injection if has to be taken for any treatment and discard the syringe with the cap on 
so that it is not used again by anyone or you too don't use it for anyone else even for yourself because a small syringe can create complications later on in your life again i say friends with this i hope i was able to give you some new information about a new type of infection that is transmitted from other people due to carelessness do avoid this using this knowledge take care friends and lots of love to you all bye for now